For diabetics, controlling blood sugar is a matter of life and death. But a not so well known delivery method of inhaled insulin is starting to catch on. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker shows us just how well it works. I've grown up with it since I was nine years old. Kimberly Kehoe is a type 1 diabetic. She says mealtimes can be tough. You're constantly thinking, how many carbohydrates do I have in front of me? Uh, and what's my blood sugar? And is this a good thing for me to be eating at this time? She tried injections. Based off my meals, I was getting a higher blood sugar after them. Um, than the result that I was going for. And even an oral medication, but that caused problems. Normal blood sugar is between 70 and 180, but when she was on the oral medication and had the flu, it went up to 300 and stayed there. I was hospitalized, um, and that happened to me two times, and I just felt that, for me, that oral pill was not the right medication to be on. Then her doctor told her about Afrezza, the most rapid-acting insulin on the market. She said, let's tie aphrasia, and I looked at her, and I said, Really, an inhalable insulin. The insulin comes in a cartridge uh, such as this. It's placed in the device, almost like a puzzle piece. Uh, once the uh, device is clicked, you just inhale it and the insulin is delivered. Inhaled insulin enters the bloodstream after just one minute and starts to lower your blood sugar in 12 minutes. Compare that to the injectable kind and that can take up to 30 minutes to start taking effect. It also exits the body faster, and that's a big deal. Because it's eliminated very quickly, there's less chance of low blood sugar. That's one of the things that diabetics fight all the time. I'm not having the high blood sugars after the meal, so it's giving me the results I need. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.